One reason that I'm sure you've heard of is Porsche piracy, you know, where you get a package delivered to your home and then someone steals it off your Porsche. So by getting a PostScan mail address, you're receiving your package at a business that's secure, and then you can go in there at any time to pick up your package. Welcome to the Side Hustle Lounge. If you're looking for flexible ways to earn income, grow your mindset, and live the lifestyle you've always dreamed of, you're in the right place. So lower the lights, grab your favorite beverage, and join your host, founder of NotaryCoach.com and Amazon best-selling author of Sign and Thrive, How to Make Six Figures as a Mobile Notary and Loan Signing Agent, Bill Soroka. Cheers and welcome back to my guest, Helmi Elmangori. Uh, you might remember him. He was the CEO of Certifix Live Scan. He is also president and CEO of Post Scan Mail. Tell me, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Yeah, love having you here. Thank you for sharing so much about the fingerprinting business. Now, how did that roll into this Post Scan Mail business? So with the fingerprinting business, we worked with a lot of mail centers and uh, we were like, how can we add on to that? You know, how can we generate, how can we create another revenue add on? So we saw physical mailboxes and uh, companies were starting to digitize, you know, mailbox services. So we thought, why not jump on that bandwagon? And that's how we created PostScan Mail. Nice. So it adds more revenue for you as a company, but then also for your customers, it sounds like. Exactly. Yep. So what is what is what exactly does this mean? What is post scan mail? What do you do? So we basically scan people's mail, you know, so instead of receiving their mail at like a physical mailbox where it just sits there, we actually scan the outside of the letter and we give it to them online. Oh. And, and then, yeah. Go and ahead. it's uh, a lot of people have heard about uh, a USPS service called Informed Delivery. Yes. Um, it's uh, similar to Informed Delivery, except the difference is with PostScan Mail, we're giving you an actual address that you can use for your business. Um, and um, you can then use that address to receive your mail. We scan it, and then you could do different operations like open and scan the letter, uh, forward it, recycle, shred, deposit a check. Uh, <laughs> I love that. So you can actually, uh, me as the consumer, I can have you open my mail, scan it over so I don't have to go make a trip to a mailbox if it's not important. You guys can scan it in and then I can give you further direction? Exactly, yeah. So it's um, it's uh, very popular that we have the mobile app so you can access it through your phone, through your tablet. So you don't even need to have a physical office. You could be working remotely and you could still receive your postal mail. Wow. How does it, uh, is there like a central operating center? Just, or how does it work? Yeah, there's, uh, well, each, uh, we have a partner program where people can sign up to be an operating center. Uh, where they can give their mailing address for customers to use. So these would be like virtual mailbox customers. Got it. So is is that the uh, the income opportunity that it, you provide for people? Is becoming an operating operation center? Exactly, becoming an operating center, um, receiving mail, scanning it, and then getting a monthly subscription fee from each of these virtual mailbox customers for handling their mail. What's the requirements to be an operating center? Um, it's very simple, actually. All you have to do is go to the post office and you fill out a, a special form called the 1583A form, and that will authorize you to become a commercial mail receiving agency or CMRA. That's it? That's it. You just, you just fill out the form at the post office, and as long as you've got a commercial mailing address, uh, you could become a CMRA. And is there any other requirements or suggestions for the um, the actual facility that you have to succeed at this? Well, you know, some people will try to do it out of like a residential address, and that may not look very good for the the clients. So it's best to have a commercial office address. You know, something in a high a high image building is like the ideal scenario, like an office building or a high rise or a, a something like that, right? 
Exactly. Or if you don't have that, even even just the low rise, you know, single story office building would do. How much staffing is required for this? Um, you could do it as a single operator, but we prefer that you have at least two people. So you kind of have a backup just in case you're not in. Um, with the mail, everything is very time sensitive. So you have to scan it on time. Can anybody do this, homie? Yeah, pretty much um, anyone can do this uh, as long as you're, you know, you've got the address, you've got the CMRA approval from the post office, you can do it. Um, there's certain equipment that's required, uh, like you should definitely have like a phone or a tablet so you could scan the mail. Um, a document scanner would be great. Um, a shredder so you could shred the mail, you know, um, filing cabinets so you could store the mail. Um a printer so you could print out shipping labels if someone wants to mail something out, that type of thing. Hmm. And then you mentioned also that you, they can deposit checks. How does that work? So the de- the check deposit feature is, is a work in progress, uh, but essentially we would electronically deposit the check into the customer's bank account using that scan that they're taking of the check. Incredible. So. Do you offer like a turnkey solution for this? So somebody can say, all right, this sounds great to me. I think I can do this. I already have a uh, an office location anyway, whether it's for notary, fingerprinting, DMV uh, type work, those types of things. Do you offer uh, just a, a a full turnkey solution to get this business going? Exactly. Yeah. We, we will provide you the software and the training. So we train you, we make sure you know how to use the system. So the, the, the front end of post scan mail is called the mailbox that's used by the customer. And the back end is called the post scan mail operator. So you're given access to the post scan mail operator system where you can manage the whole business using that. What kind of initial startup are people looking at as far as investment goes? So unlike the live scan fingerprinting, there's no capital investment here aside from your basic, you know, printer, scanner, you know, phone, tablet. Uh, there's no other startup costs. Is there an investment into post scan mail? Uh, no. The what we do is we do a software license fee, so we do kind of like a revenue share. Oh, great! Uh, and so that's kind of how it works. As long as you're, you know, receiving the mail, scanning it, we'll split the revenues that are being generated from the service. And that service is a subscription model, I think I heard you say, right? Yeah. So the, the post scan mail customers will spend, you know, if the, the plans start as low as $15 a month and then it goes up from there. That sounds really interesting. I love that you get my wheels turning every time. My wheels are still spinning from our last conversation about fingerprinting. This is kind of exciting. How long have you been doing this? So I've been doing uh, post scan mail since 2012. Uh, I started it um, in our office in Anaheim, and at the time, I just started with the single location in Anaheim, uh, and it got popular. But one of the uh, disadvantages of having a single location is, you know, people from New York and Washington and Florida want an address in their own state. Um, yeah. So that's when we started the partner program. We said, well, we need more addresses. Um, and, you know, and that's how we started it. And once we did that, the business really took off because we had addresses in almost all 50 states. And do you have lots of room for more operators? Yeah, because with PostScan Mail, um, there's a feature called Local Pickup where the customers can actually come in and pick up their packages and their, their physical mail, uh, which is really great in the age of Amazon where everybody's doing their online shopping. And... Um, you know, people will use that local pickup feature for a variety of reasons. Um, but one reason that I'm sure you've heard of is Porsche piracy, you know, where you get a package yeah. delivered to your home and then someone steals it off your Porsche. Yeah. Um, so by getting a post scan mail address, you're receiving your package at a business that's secure. And then you can go in there at any time to pick up your package. I can see where that would be also the other major benefit for actually using a, a commercial address versus your home because you don't want people coming to your home to pick up their mail or packages. Exactly. Yeah. A couple of questions for you on this. Um, from your, based on your experience I mean, running this thing since 2012, who's the ideal customer for a business or an add-on business like this? 
So ideally, it's uh, it's someone that's already uh, in the business of mailbox rental. So you, you'll see a lot of like local mail centers that started to offer this. Um, but we've also seen, you know, co-working spaces, executive office suites offer the service and join the network. Um, but we've also seen certain private operators that just, you know, rent an office or they have an existing office and they add it on to some other service that they're already providing. How do you market and grow a business like this? So we do all the, all the marketing for you. Um, so we'll list you on the PostScan Mail website and we'll get the customers to sign up online uh, for your mailing address. And that sounds like a really good opportunity. Is there is there a criteria for like the best location to be in? Is it definitely metropolitan areas? Are there opportunities in rural? How does it, what do you find works best? Metropolitan areas are definitely going to be busier because you have more people there. You have more, you have a larger pool of customers that may want to use the service where if you're out uh, in some smaller city, you may not get as many signups. Hmm. Do you see this, um, Again, based on just your experience, is this something somebody can do full time or is this truly uh, more of an add on type business or a side hustle? Um, it's a little bit of both. Uh, I mean, if you're in a smaller city, it's definitely a side hustle. Uh, I think if you're in a larger city, um, it could become full time based on the number of customers that are signing up. Hmm. Is there a sweet spot on the number of customers that need to sign up? Um, I, th- I mean, if you, if you're doing it as something on the side, um, it doesn't, you know, you know, 50, 60 customers a month is great. Um, I mean, if you're averaging, if you're averaging, you know, 10, $15 per customer, that's some extra revenue that you could add on to your business. Um, and keep in mind that with post scan mail, it's not just the $15 that you're charging them. You're also charging them for mail storage, packet storage, local pickup fees, um, you're charging them to open and scan the letters, you know, so document scanning, you're charging them for document shredding services. So mm-hmm. there's all these add-on services that add on to the monthly revenue that you're generating from each customer. That's fantastic. Now, I, I think I asked this uh, of you with the fingerprint business too, but do you have, is there any uh, client of yours, an operating center that really stands out as doing something pretty exceptional that you can share with us? Um, I think I think what's exceptional to me is being able to process all the requests within 24 hours. If if you can do that and if your scan quality is good um, and if you're you know friendly with the customers, if you're contacting them um, and following up with them, seeing if they need anything, I th- that to me is exceptional. Mm. That's what we're looking for. Good old fashioned customer service. Yes. And and one of the things that you might actually find interesting is that in order for PostScan Mail customers uh, to fully activate their account, they have to fill out a USPS Form 1583, which has to be notarized. Oh, yeah. Interesting. 1583, huh? Yeah. So not to be confused with the 1583A form, just the regular 1583 form. All customers have to fill that out to validate their identity and they have to get it notarized. Oh, great to know. Yeah, I'm sure my audience would love hearing that, guys. Um, and then a, a follow-up question too. Um, for people who might be listening and kind of intrigued by something like this, can we also, would you say there's a certain type of um, person or situation that is not a good fit for a business like this? If you're sharing an office with someone else or if uh, you don't have like a, a good solid landlord, you know, where your business might move, uh, that to us is not ideal because, you know, whenever the address changes, that's not fun for anyone because now you've got, you know, 50 or 60 customers that have to also go through that change of address process, which is a big headache. So you really have to have a good solid mailing address that you don't see changing for a long time. I never even occurred to me. So thank you for sharing that. Then that also brings up another question I have about security. Is there any particular security requirements for storing uh, that mail or even 
criminal background checks from the operators who are uh, scanning and even possibly opening the mail. So when our customers sign up, they agree to the post-scan mail terms and conditions. And also our operators are agreeing to our license agreement, which is tied into those terms and conditions and our privacy policy. So they really have to, you know, read everything that's in there so that they make sure that they're following all our rules and regulations. Ah, excellent. Excellent. Tell me, this sounds uh, very exciting and I can see where it'd be a great opportunity for people uh, especially who, those who have the commercial office. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us about this opportunity today? Yes, definitely. So PostScan Mail, we have thousands of uh, customers signing up, and uh, we're also looking for no, uh, notaries that can help us to help those customers to notarize their 1583 form. So that's actually something that we're working on. We're going to be using an online notary platform to help to engage with a lot of our customers that are signing up. And we're looking for, um, you know, a group of notaries that can um, help to notarize those documents for us. How how's that going to to work? Do you need notaries to contact you? Do you have a sign up form? Are you creating a directory or working with a current one? Uh, right now, they, they'll just have to contact PostScan Mail. Um, and we, we will provide them with a list of uh, PostScan Mail customers that need to complete notarize their 1583 form. That's an awesome opportunity. Yeah. And then, um, but keep in mind that you'd have to be in one of those states that allows online notarization. So it's like Texas, Virginia, uh, Florida, uh, Minnesota. So there's certain states that allow online notaries to operate over webcam. So excellent. Okay. You're looking for remote online notaries. Yes. All right. To service your customers in all 50 states. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This remote online notarization thing has really taken off. I think there's, I think we're up to 26 states that now allow it. So that's tremendous opportunity for the notaries that are listening in right now. Yes, definitely. Awesome. Helmy, thank you so much. I, again, I, I love these conversations because you get my wheels turning and you make me uh, really uh, think about what I can do with these businesses. Thank you so much for joining us here again today. My pleasure. Thank you, Bill. And if you're listening and you're interested in learning more about Post Scan Mail or Certifix Live Scan, both of which are headed by Helmy Elmengori here, please visit www.sidehustlelounge.com forward slash VIP, become a VIP room member. It's completely free. And you'll have access to the links over to Helmy's websites uh, for post scan mail. And you can learn more about this and the notarization opportunity as well. Thank you so much for listening to the Side Hustle Lounge podcast. You know, if you follow me on Instagram and social media, you already know that my pets play a huge role in my life and I include them as part of the family. They are part of my why. Dexter and Violet bring so much joy and love into my life that I always want to make sure that they are well tended to and healthy. That's where my Toto pet insurance policy comes in. Toto was voted best pet insurance company in 2021 by Forbes Advisor, and it's known as the pet insurance company with a heart and without the gotchas. There's no network of obscure vets that I'm forced to choose from, so I get to pick my pet's doctor. And then, depending on the policy I select, I can be reimbursed up to 90% of the vet bill. And they make it easy to use. You visit any vet, you submit a claim, you get cash back. It's pet insurance finally done right. If you'd like to support the show, get coverage for your own fur babies and maybe even give yourself some peace of mind at the same time, get an instant quote today on Toto's easy to use website at sidehustlelounge.com forward slash Toto. That's T-O-T-O. -T -O.